Hello, it's Eileen Marcus with part four of my Knowing Myself series, Letting Others In. This is all about managing annoying me. What do I do that gets in my own way? And you've got to practice there. I have a huge dog and I take him into some stores that allow him. Thank you stores that allow him like Tractor Supply, Marshalls, and the $1.25 dollar store. And people say, oh, why do you bring that big dog in? And I say, look, if I want him to be with other people, I have to put him around other people. And that's how I feel about getting into a relationship. At some point, if you want to learn to swim, you got to get off of the dry land and into the water. And that's what this is all about, about diving into those relationships that we so desperately want. Why is this different than any other time? It's different because we make it different. We have learned to love ourselves, to love what we have, and that time takes time. We're growing, we're changing our beliefs. Now we are ready to really emerge and be in concert with others. I have found that I have to face my deep, dark hurts, my deep core issues that I've probably gone around a lot of my life. And this is very tough work, but boy, is it worth it because once I can see those historical hysterical patterns and understand the triggers, the things that not a gun to my head, but that I hold the gun out, that I pull the trigger, that I act a certain way, that I shoot without thinking. Once I can see those behaviors in me, I can use them as information and I can practice staying in the water and managing annoying me. So how do you do this? First, you invoke Goldilocks. We all know the story of Goldilocks. She goes hiking through the woods. Who doesn't love a hike? Comes across a house. She's tired. She sits in a chair. The first one's too big. The second one's too small. The third one's just right. Same thing with the porridge. Too hot, too cold, just right. Finally, the bed and falls asleep. So it's about right sizing, proportional response. But what we forget about Goldilocks is she's trespassing. She is in a house that isn't hers. And that is the lesson. What is often missed in owning our own behavior is thinking about what doesn't belong to us. What are we reacting to? What situations, policies, people that are either in our past and don't belong here? So it is about what is ours to make decisions about, to really think through that concept of why am I so crazy about this? Why am I acting that way? What triggered me? Think about Goldilocks sleeping in this house and getting woken up with the bears where she didn't belong. Wake yourself up in a place you don't belong and start to see, part two, your BS, your blind spots. What is it that you're not looking at? What is it that other people see about you that you don't see? The most high-tech of high-tech cars still have a little blind spot. For me, out the right you know, driver's side, I can't see things. When we can't see things that everybody else can, we are destined for trouble. This is a very hard thing to do, to look at our own blind spots. Corporations use 360s, you know, there's video now, you can always see how you acted, but it is really worth to dig into what might be happening. What information am I getting that I rationalize, oh, that's them, oh, that was bad, instead of, wait, what do I bring to every situation? And you know what you bring to every situation, you bring you. So what do I do now that I know that I might be trespassing in territory I don't belong? I can see a blind spot. I start stopping today. It's never a good time to go on a diet, to change the way you do something, to learn something new. But one thing I have learned over my years, if it doesn't feel right and I keep going down that path, it's going to feel worse. So start stopping today. You don't have to have the answer. You just have to know what I'm doing is not the answer. So what's next? What are you waiting for? Get into the water, channel Goldilocks, and know what belongs to you. Identify your blind spots and bring your willingness to start stopping and the desire to be different. And you will be. Eileen Marcia, Eileen Marcia, Eileen Marcus wishing you knowing yourself, managing, annoying me. Until next time.